guy, Shane Mostyn here. If you're new to the channel, everything we're talking about here today is in the description down below. Unless, of course, I forget it and you guys will tell me if I do and then I'll put it in, so stay tuned. So what we're talking about here today is the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. That's the new flagship from Samsung and we're going to see what it's like shooting the stars in our awesome night skies that we have here in North Central Victoria, here in Australia. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I do two videos each and every week all about small centre photography, usually in low light situations. If you have subscribed, you're a bloody legend. So this phone, well, it's pretty amazing. It's an ugly looking thing, but it's pretty amazing. Do you remember when the iPhone 12 Pro Max came out and Samsung kind of gave Apple a bit of a hard time saying, hey, where's your charger? Well, um, that was taken down pretty soon after and this box looks remarkably similar to the Apple box in that it's black and it has no charger. But hey, realistically, if you've ever owned a phone before, you've probably got a charger for it anyway. And if you haven't, or if you don't have a charger that suits this sort of a phone, well, this is the modern technology's way of saying, would you like fries with that? And unless you don't want to use your phone, use it as a paperweight, and you're probably gonna want fries with that. Just another way to make some dollars, I guess. So what am I talking about when I say this thing's ugly? Well, it kinda is. It's roughly the same, look, let's just stop it for a second here. This channel's all about photography with your phone. If you wanna learn all about tech specs and stuff, go see the big boys, they do it really well. I'm not gonna try and replicate what they do. What I'm going to do is show you how this phone works, how the cameras on this phone works in your day-to-day -day life and how I take photos with it. So, what I mean by ugly is, it's kinda ugly. It's roughly the same size as the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I should say. And the iPhone's a little bit wider. It's a little bit squarer. So the edges on the iPhone are square, the edges on the, on the Samsung are round. Um, doesn't matter. What's ugly though is the camera bezel. Like, it's just ugly. It's, it's huge. Um, it takes up probably almost a quarter of the back of the phone. Um, it's just ugly. It better take good photos, because it's ugly. So when I first saw the tech specs on this phone, I started to get a little bit excited. I haven't been this excited since the iPhone 12 Pro Max with its big sensor. And I thought that's going to be just awesome. It's going to be the, the duck's nuts as far as astrophotography goes with your mobile phone. And it was good, and, and it is good. It's my day-to-day -day phone. Maybe not for much longer, because this sucker, the tech specs on this are impressive. Let's not even worry too much about the 108 megapixels. That's more of a daytime thing. And if you're interested in learning more about this phone and how to use it in photography in your day-to-day, -day, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm doing a series on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in regular photography as well as what I do now. So when I looked at this, I saw the pixel size is kind of small. It's not tiny, tiny, but it's certainly smaller than what the iPhone is. The iPhone is at 1.7 microns and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is 0.8 of a micron. So it's smaller. What does that mean for us? For astrophotography, it means this little bucket, if you like, that catches all the light from the stars. It's a bit smaller. So when the bucket's bigger, it catches more light. So in theory, the iPhone should capture more light than what the Samsung can. It's not the case. So if you're looking to buy one of these phones, the iPhone or the, the Samsung, any of the flagships really, um, you're probably at the upper end of the photography world if you like. So the subscribers on this channel, regular subscribers who watch the content all the time, I know you guys are out there in the middle of the night taking photos of the stars. What this phone does, I think it sits somewhere between the Pixel and a DSLR for taking photos of the night sky. The thing that I don't like about the Pixel is that you can't do it manually. All the apps that you can get for most phones don't shoot longer than one second. This does. Shoot for a full 30 seconds, fully manual, to do whatever you want to do. Even the focusing is fully manual. So what we're gonna do is wait until about three o'clock tomorrow morning, and uh, I'm gonna go take some photos. If you don't know how to plan for an astrophotography shoot and you don't know where that galactic core is, that Milky Way, um, I'll link up the top to a video and I'll explain how to find all of that. I just know that about three o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, it's going to be rising just slightly before the sun, sun rises and we'll be able to get some good photos. How good are photos? This sort of photo.
So this is a location that I've been to plenty of times. Up behind you there is Mount Hope, and I shoot a lot of videos up here at Mount Hope. There's a nice rocky outcrop. It's not really a mountain as such, but where we are here, it's dead flat, and um, it gets a little bit of elevation. We're off to the uh, eastern side of Mount Hope, and just in front of me here is probably one of the more main roads um, heading towards Kahuna and Leachville um, from Bendigo, which is a, a much bigger town, about 100 k's that way. So when I talk about major road, you can see the amount of traffic that's on it. It's only like 15 meters over there, so it's not a main road for you city folks. Right here we have the Samsung S21 Ultra sitting on a tripod. And the reason it's sitting on a tripod is because for shooting stars, anyone that watches this channel knows that we're going to be looking at at least 20 seconds or so. In this camera, we've got pro mode, we've got night mode. What we're doing tonight is pro mode because pro mode on a camera is pretty bloody good when the sensors are quite good. So out here, behind us, directly out in that direction right there is where the Milky Way is rising right now. Just behind us here, and you probably can't see it yet, but you'll see it in a second with the photo, is some old cattle yards. So this is old dairy country and cattle country. Um, there's a nice big green tree sitting behind us there, and the cattle yards are right here. And what we're going to do as we take the photo with the phone, I'm going to light it with this torch here um, to give some foreground element to this photo. So what we'll do, we'll turn this phone on, and we'll go into the camera. We'll set up pro mode. So if you go to more then pro mode, you can see it right there. We're going to go into the shutter speed and we're going to give it 30 seconds on the shutter speed. ISO 3200. We'll change the white balance to uh, 42, 43, maybe to 4300. That's a good sort of white balance for this sort of photo and we've set the focus to infinity and we'll hit the shutter button and we'll take a photo so whilst that's taking the photo i'm going to use this torch here and go around away obliquely from the camera and i'll shoot it from this direction over here with the torch and light up some of that foreground element and that's it no more light than that in fact it may even be too much but we'll see all right, let's have a look at this photo. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That, that is, uh, it, it <laughs> we'll have a look at this when we get it back onto the computer real quickly. Uh, in fact, I'll edit up one of these right now on the computer when I, well, when I get home. Um, but <laughs> I think that's pretty bloody good. Um, my very first DSLR was a 7D, a Canon 7D. And I used to come in here when I first got into astrophotography and I think that's better than the 7D, to be honest. And that's in your bloody pocket. That's amazing. All right, I'm gonna take some more photos here. That's essentially how we're gonna do it though. 30 seconds. You're probably going to get some star trails behind the stars because of that rule of 500. But um, that, for a phone, in your bloody pocket, is spectacular. I'll grab some more photos. bloody cool you can get that sort of a photo out of a mobile phone it's pretty spectacular I think what we're gonna do now is edit a photo in Adobe Lightroom on mobile I was going to do it on the computer but well you guys are probably doing it on your phone so we'll have a look at it on the phone so what we're gonna do is open up Adobe Lightroom mobile word of warning though using some of these features you may need to pay for a subscription things like presets now if you're not familiar with uh, editing photos in Adobe Lightroom Mobile, head over to phonephotoschool.com.au and I actually sell some presets there specifically for astrophotography um, photos. So we're not going to use one of them today just so you don't have to go and spend your money on presets, but um, if you are inclined, do so. They're only five bucks Australian, so uh, in America it's probably three bucks. Um, but it helps keep the channel going. So we're not gonna use one of them today, just in case you don't have it. We're just going to do a full edit in Adobe Lightroom uh, on mobile. So we'll open up the image 
in Lightroom. The photo that we're doing here is the photo of the windmill. And I took a photo a year or two ago of exactly the same windmill, it looks like this. And what we're going to do now is edit this photo of the same windmill that's taken with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So we open up, go into light first, and we're going to adjust the exposure. We'll bring it down slightly. We'll bring the contrast up. And what I'm looking for through all of this is what's happening with that galactic core. So we're playing with the highlights. We'll play with the shadows. I don't really think it's doing too much with the shadows. We'll look at the blacks and we'll drop the blacks a little bit as well. Go into the color. In the color, we'll look at the white balance and the tinting. Um, it had a little bit too much magenta and we don't want it to be green. Um, bring that magenta roughly 30, that'll be fine. Go next to the effects tab and we'll increase the dehazing. We might look at yeah, the details tab now. We're going to reduce some of the noise. Some of the noise on this photo is, is, is significant, so we're going to reduce that. So we'll bring the noise reduction up. I'll try the lens profile, and because this phone is just so new, um, Adobe haven't actually put the lens profiles of this phone into Adobe Lightroom yet. So give it time, they will, and we'll be able to fix up any sort of um, uh, lens distortions that we have going on there. So next what we're going to do is do a local adjustment, a small adjustment, we're going to use a brush on that core. So we'll use that. Where it's pink there is where it's what's going to be affected by what we're about to do. So we're going to increase the clarity and that really makes that galactic core pop quite well. We'll go now to the dehazing, increase that a little bit. You can change the color of the core a bit. I'm not really into that too much. Try and keep it a little bit natural. Um, that doesn't look too bad there. We'll do the temperature a little bit, increase it just a little, only a small amount. I think that looks pretty bloody good. We'll put a little bit of magenta into that core as well. I think, yeah, I think that looks really nice. Yeah, with the clarity, the texture, and the dehazing in that galactic core, it makes it look pretty good. There's your before and after. Now, if you're keen on any of these photos that I've taken here today, I'm going to grab a few of them. I'll put them into a zip file. I'll put them onto the website, phonephotoschool.com.au, and you can download them there and have a look at the photos yourself as the uh, edited photos. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you on Friday for 5-Minute Fridays. Catch you later.